the Bible, the Word of God. Even a casual reader of the Bible soon discovers he is reading a most unusual book. Although covering thousands of years of human history and written by more than 40 human authors, the Bible is not simply a collection of writings, but one book with amazing continuity. It is called the Bible from the Greek word biblos, meaning a book. Its unusual character is due to the fact that it is indeed the Word of God, even though written by human authors. Two lines of evidence are usually offered supporting the conclusion that the Bible is the Word of God. 1. The internal evidence, the facts found in the Bible itself, and the Bible's own claim concerning its divine origin. 2. The external evidence, the nature of the facts given in the scripture which support its supernatural character. Internal evidence. In hundreds of passages, the Bible declares or assumes itself to be the Word of God. Deuteronomy 6, 6 through 9. And these words, which I command you today, shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Joshua 1.8 This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Joshua 8.32-35 And there in the presence of the children of Israel, he wrote on the stones a copy of the Law of Moses, which he had written. Then all Israel, with their elders and officers and judges, stood on either side of the ark before the priests, the Levites, who bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord, the stranger as well as he who was born among them. Half of them were in front of Mount Gerizim, and half of them in front of Mount Ebal, as Moses the servant of the Lord had commanded before, that they should bless the people of Israel. And afterward he read all the words of the law, the blessings and the cursings, according to all that is written in the book of the law. There was not a word of all that Moses had commanded, which Joshua did not read before the congregation of Israel, with the women the little ones, and the strangers who were living among them. 2 Samuel 22, 31 As for God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in Him. Psalm 1, verse 2 But His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in His law he meditates day and night. Psalm 12, verse 6. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Psalm 19, verse 7 through 11. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clear, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold. Yes, than much fine gold sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned. 
and in keeping them there is great reward. Psalm 93 verse 5 Your testimonies are very sure. Holiness adorns your house, O Lord, forever. Psalm 119 How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. Your word have I hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Open my eyes, that I may see wondrous things from your law. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth, and it abides. They continue this day according to your ordinances, for all are your servants. Unless your law had been my delight, I would then have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. You, through your commandments, make me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep your precepts. Through your precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The entrance of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. Proverbs 30, verse 5 and 6. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who put their trust in him. Do not add to his words, lest he reprove you, and you be found a liar. Isaiah 55, verse 10 and 11. For as the rain comes down, and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, and make it bring forth, and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall be my word that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Jeremiah 15, verse 16. Your words were found, and I ate them, and your word was to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord God of hosts. Jeremiah 23, verse 29. Is not my word like a fire, says the Lord, and like the hammer that breaks the rocks in pieces? Daniel 10, verse 21. But I will tell you what is noted in the scripture of truth. No one upholds me against these except Michael your prince Matthew 5 for 17 through 19 do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets I did not come to destroy but to fulfill for assuredly I say to you till heaven and earth pass away one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so, shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 22, verse 29. Jesus answered and said to them, You are mistaken, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. Mark 13, 31. Assuredly, I say to you, 
this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. Luke 16, 17. It is easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for one tittle of the law to fail. John 2, 22. Therefore, when he had risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this to them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. John 5, 24. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but is passed from death into life. John 10, 35. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken, Acts 17.11 These were more fair-minded than those in Thessalonica, and that they received the word with all readiness and searched the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. Romans 10.17 So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. 1 Corinthians 2.13 These things we also speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Colossians 3.16 Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 2.13 For this reason we also thank God without ceasing, because when you received the word of God which you heard from us, you welcomed it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth the word of God, which also effectively works in you who believe. 2 Timothy 2.15 be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. 2 Timothy 3.15 And that from childhood you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. 1 Peter 1.23-25 Having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the word of God which lives and abides forever because all flesh is as grass and all the glory of man as the flower of grass the grass withers and its flower falls away but the word of the Lord endures forever now this is the word by which the gospel was preached to you Therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace, without spot and blameless, and account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, has written to you as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to understand, which those who are untaught and unstable twist to their own destruction, as they do also the rest of the scriptures. Revelation 1, 1 and 2. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him, 
to show his servants things which must shortly take place. And he sent and signified it by his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God, and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, and to all things that he saw. Revelation 22, 18. For I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if anyone adds to these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. The scriptures in so many ways declare that the Bible is the word of God, and its claims are clear to anyone. The constant assumption of the writers of the Old Testament, the writers of the New Testament, and Christ himself, is that the Bible is the inspired word of God. For instance, Psalm 19, 7 through 11, declares that the Bible is indeed the word of the Lord, and names six perfections with six corresponding transformations of human character which the word accomplishes. Jesus Christ declared that the law had to be fulfilled. Hebrews 1, 1 and 2 not only affirms that God spoke in the Old Testament to the prophets in the word of God, but to his Son in the New Testament. The Bible can be rejected only by rejecting its constant claims to being God's Word. External Evidence The Bible not only claims to be the Word of God, but supports these claims by abundant evidence, which has often convinced even the most skeptical of readers. 1. The Continuity of the Bible one of the most amazing facts about the scripture is that though it was written by more than 40 authors, living over a period of about 1600 years, the Bible is nevertheless one book, not simply a collection of 66 books. Its authors came from all walks of life, kings, peasants, philosophers, fishermen, physicians, statesmen, scholars, poets, and farmers. They lived in different cultures and different experiences and often were quite different in character. The Bible has a continuity which can be observed from Genesis to Revelation. The continuity of the Bible can be seen in its historical sequence which begins with creation of the present world to the creation of the new heavens and the new earth. The Old Testament unfolds doctrinal themes such as the nature of God himself, the doctrine of sin, the doctrine of salvation, and the programs of God for the world as a whole, for Israel, and for the church. Doctrine is progressively presented from its first or elementary introduction to its more complex development. Type is followed by anti-type prophecy by fulfillment. One of the continued themes of the Bible is the anticipation, presentation, realization, and exaltation of the most perfect person on earth or in heaven, the Lord Jesus Christ. To account for such an amazing book with its continuity of development on natural means would demand a greater miracle than inspiration itself. Accordingly, believers in scripture, while recognizing human authorship of the various books, account for its continuity by the guidance and inspiration of the Holy Spirit. External evidence, number two, the extent of biblical revelation. In its unfolding of truth, the Bible is inexhaustible. Like a telescope, it sweeps the universe from the heights of heaven to the depths of hell, and traces the works of God from the beginning to their end. Like a microscope, the minutest details of the plan and purpose of God and the perfection of his creation are revealed. Like a stereoscope, it places all beings and objects, whether in earth or in heaven, in right relation, the one to the other. Although many books of the Bible were written in the early days of human knowledge, when its authors were not aware of modern discoveries, nevertheless, what they wrote 
is never contradicted by later discovery, and ancient writings of scripture are amazingly adapted to modern situations. In extent of its revelation, biblical truth goes far beyond human discovery, reaching as it does from eternity past to eternity future and revealing facts which only God could know. No other book in all the world even attempts to present comprehensive truth as the Bible does. External evidence number three, the influence and publication of the Bible. No other book has ever been published in as many languages and for as many different peoples and cultures as the Bible itself. Its pages were among the first to be printed as printing presses were invented. Millions of copies of scripture have been published in all the principal languages of the world, and every written language has at least some portion of the Bible in print. Although skeptics like the French infidel Voltaire have often predicted that the Bible would be obsolete within a generation, and even 20th century authors have predicted that the Bible would soon be a forgotten book, it continues to be published in increasing numbers in more languages than ever before. Other religions have surpassed Christianity in number of followers, but they have not been able to offer any written revelation comparable to scripture. In our modern day, the influence of the Bible continues to be transforming. To the unsaved, it is the sword of the Spirit, Ephesians 6, 17. And to the saved, it is a cleansing, sanctifying, and effective power, John 17, 17. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth, 2 Corinthians 3, 17 and 18. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Ephesians 5, 25 and 26. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. The Bible continues to be the only divine basis for law and morality. External evidences number four, subject matter of the Bible. The supernatural character of the Bible is seen in the fact that it deals as freely with the unknown otherwise unknowable as it does with that which is known. It describes eternity past including creation before man was even in existence. The nature and works of God are revealed. In biblical prophecy the whole program for the world, for Israel, and for the church is unfolded culminating in that which is eternal. On every subject presented its statement is final accurate and timeless its comprehensive nature has made its readers wise in truth that is related both to time and to eternity external evidences number five the bible as literature considered as literature the bible is also supreme it contains not only graphic history but detailed prophecy beautiful poetry and drama stories of love and war, the speculations of philosophy as over against the finality of biblical truth. The variety of its authorship is matched by the variety of its subject matter. No other book as literature has so entranced readers of all ages and of all degrees of intelligent scholarship. External evidence is number six. The unprejudiced authority of the Bible the human authorship of the Bible has not resulted in prejudice in favor of man. The Bible unhesitatingly records the sin and weakness of the best of men and graphically warns those who rely on their own virtues of their ultimate doom. 
although recorded by human pens, it is a message from God to man rather than a message from man to man. While sometimes speaking of earthly things and human experience, it also describes with clarity and authority things of both heaven and earth, things seen and unseen, revealing facts about God, about angels, about men, about time and eternity, about life and death, of sin and salvation, of heaven and hell. Such a book could not be written by man if he chose to write it, and even if he could, man would not choose to write it apart from divine direction. Accordingly, the Bible, though written by men, is a message from God with the certainty, assurance, and peace that only God can give. External Evidences number 7 The Supreme Character of the Bible Above all else, the Bible is a supernatural book, revealing the person and glory of God as manifested in His Son. Such a person as Jesus Christ could never have been the invention of a mortal man, for His perfections could never have been comprehended by the wisest and holiest of this earth. The supreme character of the Bible is supported by its revelation of the supreme character of history in the person of Jesus Christ. Because of the combination of human and supernatural qualities which enter into the Bible, a similarity may be observed between the Bible as the written word and the Lord Jesus Christ as the living word. They are both supernatural in origin, presenting an inscrutable and perfect blending of that which is divine and that which is human. They both exercise a transforming power over those who believe and are alike allowed of God to be set at naught and rejected by those who do not believe. The untainted, undiminished, divine perfections are embodied in each. The revelations which they disclose are at once as simple as the mental capacity of a child and as complex as the infinite treasures of divine wisdom and knowledge and as enduring as the God whom they reveal.